Today I will show you how to create an Instagram music video preview using both Adobe Photoshop and Premiere Pro. I create most of the assets in Photoshop and bring them to Premiere Pro and create the actual preview video. So here in Photoshop I have created this Canva right here. It has to be a square as Instagram videos are square. Mine is 1280 by 1280. If you would like you can make yours 1080 by 1080. I use two photos that are screenshots from the video I am creating the preview for. I merged them and created a two simple rectangles and cropped them to create these two holes here. And that is where we will put our video. It is gonna peek through those rectangles. I created my text. You can create yours however you like to suit the style of the video you are making this preview for. Then when you are all done go ahead and save your Canva go to file then save as. Here select PNG you have to save it as PNG this is really important. Now fire up Premiere Pro. Let us create a new sequence. Right click and select new sequence here under settings make sure your frame size is set to the Instagram frame settings. Which is 1280 by 1280 the same as our Canva image. And press OK. I like to rename my sequences. Now import and drag and drop out PNG Canva image to our new sequence here. So I am gonna make my preview video 30 seconds long so I will trim this image to that duration also by pulling it to the right like this. Import your music video also and trim the part that you like. I will select the color as part of the song and put it under our Canva. Now here you're gonna have to resize it and move it because every person's video is different. Just make sure your clip stays inside your rectangle here. Crop it if you must. You do that by going to the effects panel menu and search for crop and drag it on your clips. Here where it says bottom pull it a bit like that. Do the same steps we did on the first one. When you are finished with that, this is what I like to do. You don't have to do it. So Instagram will loop your video. To create a seamless loop this is how you do it. Go through your video and look for a screenshot you like and take it. Click import into project. Go to the first frame of your video. Drag in drop the screenshot put it on the very first frame. And trim it into just one frame and put it here and copy it and paste it on the last frame of the video. This will make the video to seamlessly loop. And so we are pretty much done here. Let me quickly show you guys how to render this. Click File Export and then Media. Rename it and locate where you want to save your video. Leave format of H264. And keep match source like that. Make sure your frame size is still at 1280 by 1280. Change profile to high. Check render at maximum depth. Change bitrate encoding to VBR pass 2. Target bitrate to 20. Maximum bitrate to 30. Check use maximum render quality. And press export. 
Okay guys that is it for today's video. Peace.